Hey everybody, Haku here with my live reaction for Tower of God Chapter 479. Uh, this is super duper late, and uh, yeah, it's because I've just been like super swamped with a bazillion different things and haven't had time to do videos. But uh, I'm recording this, I'm recording the next chapter directly after it, so I'm super excited. I don't have to wait a week. And then uh, tomorrow, tomorrow night or Monday morning, I'll get to record... Uh, 481 so I'll be just like I'll be just uh, not having to wait a week between these three which is amazing I get to marathon them uh, but yeah I'm gonna try to review all three of them this week I really want to catch up to the anime reviews I was planning on doing that last week um, but you know I just things are crazy right now and I just need time you know but either way, let's uh, let's read 479. I'm excited. We're gonna get White versus Caliban finally. Uh, my opinion on it, like I said before, was that you know White doesn't necessarily have to beat Caliban, but White shouldn't lose to Caliban because we've had this story going on forever of oh, if only I was at my full strength. If only I was at my full strength. So if he just loses to him, it's gonna be a little bit embarrassing for him at that point. Um, but I also don't really think that he should just wipe Calavan out instantly. That would be um, maybe a bit too far. Uh, also, something I'm excited for, genuinely, that I haven't heard people actually talking about, um, Cha versus Yolker. I'm, I'm actually genuinely interested to see what they can actually do. Uh, so yeah, do not sleep on Yolker. Uh, so yeah, here we go. We're at uh, 479, or Season 3, Episode 62. Just checking to make sure you can actually see the uh, thing in the corner there. Alright, starting off with this panel of white that we saw last chapter. And he laughs to himself. White, but how? And then Calavan is silent. Alright, he looks like him. Okay, but he's giving off a whole different type of energy. You didn't see this coming, did you, 4th Army, or er, Squadron Commander? Why'd they change it to Corp here? Um, and that's Macheny and Liboric. The man we suspected of being the Slayer White has regained his original power. Tower of God, 52nd floor versus Calavan 3. How dare he look down at Lord Calavan like that and Yolker is pouting. I turned down a position as a division... Okay, so, okay, Division Commander. I was thinking Squadron Commander. Okay, so he could have been a Division Commander and joined this platoon just for Lord Calavan. I don't like that guy one bit. Oh, so are we going to see a Division Commander level high ranker get taken out, and that's supposed to be the flex of how strong White is? Okay, Platoon Commander Yolker, wait. Where are your manners? And he cuts his fingers off. Uh, huh? I fixed your manners for you. You should thank me. And he's screaming. Back when I first made a name for myself in this tower, my followers used to paint blood next to their eyes to look like me. And for a while, that became the symbol of rebels throughout the tower. You probably didn't know that, but seeing those marks next to your eyes, you must have been at the bottom of one of those groups of rebels. What a cute soul. Then again, and he laughs to himself, Compared to the gods of this tower, I suppose I'm just another insignificant soul, too. Don't be too hard on yourself. What the hell? His vibe... <laughs> just the vibe. His vibe totally changed, says Cha. You were probably sealed away for too long to know him, says Karaka. But he used to be one of the most notorious slayers in the whole tower. I'm not sure how, but it looks like he regained his old power. I hope... Er... I hope doesn't I hope he doesn't point that sword at us. I'm assuming they mean. Duh, this is so good. I'm loving his character right now. I've definitely got my old power back, but it doesn't feel er doesn't feel like quite enough. Out of everyone here, the person I er with the soul I want more than anything is him. And he thinks about Bomb. Of course he's an irregular. If I devour him, I bet I'd get an enormous boost of power. But I won't act too hastily. I'm counting on him. Ready to get started. But first. And he slices down. Alright. Why don't you remove that restriction on your arm? 
I'd feel almost embarrassed to beat you if you can only use one arm. I'll pass, says Kalavan. Alright, and he creates an explosion, but it's probably going to get blocked by the um, REA swordsmanship. Yeah, it just gets cut apart. White style, REA sword skill, lethal move. If, you're th if you think you're fighting the same white as last time, seven blood spirit blade, you're sorely mistaken, Kalavan. And we see all the slices going at Kalavan. I guess you're right. And it does seem like he's blocked it for the most part. He's not using any flashy sword skills like last time, but every strike of the blade is swift and heavy. This won't be easy. And he goes in, it looks like for a back fist against White's attacks, and White dodges backwards, slices again. That's a nice panel. I really like that one. I also kind of like how the crown is floating a bit off to the side. It reminds me of the uh, thorn with bomb. More attacking panels. We see, we see a lot of this kind of setup from CU when it comes to the combat panels. Alright. Another explosion from Kalavan. Essence of bravery. And he uses a bomber attack behind him. But it does not look like that's actually go. I like White's character design right here. It looks really nice. The way the hair is. Alright. He turns back. And he cuts all the way around in a circle. Forcing Kalavan to block. Alright, now he's going for another punch. Sending another explosion, but it's blocked. Really going heavy on the fighting. I like that. Like us actually getting to see all of these moves and everything. Okay, and White's still going forward with the blade. Catches against his fist. And we have a blood splatter. And it looks like it comes from White slicing down. And Kalavan looks shocked. And we have more attacks coming. White style sword skill. Lethal move. Blades of Fury. And Kalavan's still trying to block with the Essence of Bravery like he's been doing. And see, I like the um I like the way that CU's been really consistent with Kalavan's fighting stances. Like we've seen him take this stance a lot with his uh one armed fighting. Wow, he's actually on equal footing with Kalavan, thinks Bomb. In fact, since Kalavan got er since Kalavan's got one arm tied up, he's actually beating him. And then he looks back. Want me to teach you? Is he looking at me? How to burn souls? You're ready. Now, I'll say it again. Untie that stupid arm of yours. So again, he's like I like how his character has gone from like a rival to bomb to sort of being an ally, to still being an ally, but it seems like... Also, is that a bow on his back right there? But also, it seems like... He's, like, trying to... Not train Bomb, but push him forward to change him, to manipulate him into being an even more delicious soul. It's like, um... It's almost like Hisoka wanting Gon to develop to fight him later on. It's White wanting Bomb to develop to take his soul later on. Now I'll say it again. Untie that stupid arm of yours. I'd like to, but this is a punishment from Lord Zahard. I promise not to untie my arm until I get, er, get the order to untie it. I'll gladly fight you with one arm, though. So, you won't give me a proper fight, huh? What a shame. White, what are you doing? Is that you, Kun? Hurry up and finish him off. He's only got one arm. This is the perfect chance to kill him. Yeah, you're right. But now that I've got my power back, I want to have a proper fight with Kalavan. What? Since when were you such a gentleman? And again, I love Kun's just personality of just being the same kind of guy who's like, kill him while he's weak, kill him while he's down. The sort of uh, trickster still. Shut up. Souls don't taste any good if they die without a struggle. Besides, I need to show you how I burn souls. I feel like he'll need it soon. What? 
He wants to show us what? What the heck is he up to? The branch leader was defeated, and now White's got his full power back. Shouldn't you do something, 4th Army Squadron Commander? Or do you have some kind of secret plan up your sleeve? And I know that there are a lot of people, like the people on the wiki, have been using Corp Commander instead of Squadron Commander for a while, but I don't know if I should jump on this change yet or not, or if they're just going to go straight back to Squadron Commander. Or do you... Oh, I love that little throne-type, like, setup that Micheny has going on right there. Or do you have some kind of secret plan up your sleeve? I kind of feel like Liboric is the strategist type too, though. You don't seem to understand the plan I explained to you, Princess. I told you. This is a war of attrition. And he laughs. Again, though, they have, like I've been saying from the beginning, they have the number advantage like crazy. So, after this, even if they defeat Kalavan, Every fighter, except, like, maybe Yama, is going to be worn out by the time they get to the next wall, and they still have to fight Liboric and Yasracha and Mesheni. So really, and all of the, uh, fifth, or, no, yeah, the fifth squadron hasn't even started fighting yet. So it's one of those situations where everyone on bombside is going to be worn down just after this one section of the uh, infiltration, unless, of course, more allies come. So again, makes total sense. What the heck are you thinking, says Yasracha. Now, I'm going to blow up the 4th Army Corps' flagship. What? Strange, thinks Yama. We're getting to see Yama. I haven't seen their flagship in a while. Where did it go, thinks Yama. Alright. And these look is that the flagship? Or is this some other kind of ship? It looks like it has small ships around it. I think those are smaller ships and not observers. Alright. In Okay, so that is. Inside the 4th Army Corps flagship. The engine room. And that was the girl that was with um, Kunhind Luck and Hachonhi earlier this arc, I think. Okay. Have an elevator. Is it, is Liborc, or not Liborc, is Hindluck a double trader? We have Humming. Oh, so yeah, it is Liborc then. Or, not Liborc, Jesus, Kun Hindluck. Alright. I wonder what his plan is. Or no, no, no. Because Liborc said they were going to blow up the ship, so Liborc probably ordered Kun Hindluck to blow it up. That's why. He's not a traitor. Duh. Company Commander Kalavan. Fourth, Ar er, Fourth Army Corp Commander. Good work out there. The commanders are very impressed by your initiative on the front line. I've also been keeping an eye on the, f er, on the front and sending the Fourth Army Corp at, er, the best plans I can. So actually, I need you to do me a favor. That lunatic thinks, um... Yes, Racha. A favor? What is it, Commander? As we speak, our flagship is sneaking up to the cage in stealth mode. Okay, so they're just going to try to blow up the cage. After bringing the flagship as close as possible to the cage, I'm thinking of blowing up the ship along with the cage. And of course, Kalavan might actually not like this, because Liboric's willing to blow up some of his own men to take out the cage, but Kalavan, I think, actually cares about his men, in kind of a weird, it's my duty sort of way, because we've at least seen the other members of the 4th Squadron really genuinely cared about Kalavan for the most part. Corp Commander, if you do that, there's a good chance that all of our troops behind the wall will be killed. It can't be helped. There must be a reason they brought that slow cage all the way here and are guarding it. They're probably planning on using the cage for something. I'd like to blow up the cage, er, before they can do anything with it, but it's not easy with Yama around. At the moment, the 4th Army Corps' flagship is running on a powerful Shinsu combustion engine. If that engine were to blow up, the blast would be un- er, unimaginably massive. Okay, that was just really hard wording to get. The blast would be unimaginably massive. Okay. If we blow up the flagship right near the cage, not even Yama will be able to stop it. Of course, most of our troops would die along with the cage, but don't worry about that. The new recruits for the 4th Army Corps are already waiting on the other side of the wall. 
they're even stronger and more powerful than the current 4th Army Corp. So, okay. So, we have some silhouettes that could be very, very interesting. But, again, is Kalavan going to want to save, like, his people? Like, we haven't even seen Dorian yet, this arc, I don't think. Is he going to want to save his people, like, uh, Dorian, Chonhi? Of course, she's not right there at the moment, but you know what I mean. Like, is he going to want to save his people? And Liborik's just going to say, screw him and replace him with his own? So not only do we have four new division commanders for, um, or, well, not only do we have the four fifth division commanders that we haven't seen fight yet this arc, but we have four new division commanders that are supposed to be stronger than, what were they, Chonhi, Ari Bright Sharon, uh, Kun Hinluck, and, um, Nyo no Wan, was that the other one? So it's crazy, we're having, again, four more very strong people entering the fight. General HQ already gave us the go-ahead to replace the 4th Army Corp with them. From now on, they are going to lead the 4th Army Corp. If you cooperate, I'll make sure Lord Zahard gives you the order to untie your arm. Since you used to be a Corp commander, the troops trust you. To make sure this operation succeeds, do whatever you can to stop the rankers near the cage, and try to calm the Corp down. Is that clear? Jeez. So they're going to try... So it's all on Kalavan. Is he going to be quiet and let them nuke his people and also Bomb's allies? Or is he going to try to save his own people? So, we were just disposables, huh? Because it could go either way. Kalavan's extremely, extremely duty-bound to, um, to King Zahard, but he's also the kind of guy that... I kind of would think he'd be like, well, I know what's best. He's almost like a, um, a poof from, uh, from Hunter x Hunter. Again, why am I connecting this to Hunter x Hunter right now, today? Um, but almost like a poof sort of situation, where he's like, you don't know what's best for King Zahard, I know what's best for King Zahard. I could see Kalavan being like that. So, we were just disposables, huh? Yes, Commander. As a soldier, following er, following orders is my duty. I'll do it, or I'll do my best to make sure the operation succeeds. Thanks. But, if this operation fails and all of those soldiers die for nothing, I want you to take responsibility, Commander. Responsibility? Yes, since this involves the death of so many soldiers, I'll make sure you take responsibility as their commander. Oh, and we have the cracking of the restraints and his arm comes free, with your life. His arm's untied, and of course White looks amused at it. But I like that we're getting a reaction panel of Doan as well. Because she, uh, she was in the thumbnail for the next chapter. Fine, if this operation fails, you can come kill me and take my position as Corp Commander, Company Commander Kalavan. He is a lunatic, just like Yisracha said. But I have a feeling he's like a mad genius strategist sort of lunatic. But first, make sure you do your duty as my subordinate. Yes, Commander. And he's going full-on essence of bravery with the forehead and both fists. And to connect it to yet another different series, it reminds me of, um... Gosh, of uh, Tsuna from, from uh, Katakyo Hitman Reborn. Yes, Commander. You're finally gonna put up a proper fight, huh? I'd give it, er, I'd better give it my best too, then. And his sword dissolves. Are we going to see another uh, sword from White beyond whatever uh, what was it? Spinel was. We see it forming. This is this okay. This is the strongest sword I can make. It's called Cullinan. All right. Hey, Slayer candidate, watch and learn. This is how you burn souls. You're gonna need this soon enough. Yolker, try to hold back the guys approaching the barrier wall. I don't think there's anything you can do to help me fight that guy. Yes, sir. This battle. Is oh, flashback time? Is that what you've decided? Yeah, I'll join Zahard's army. 
I knew the moment I met him yesterday. He's the one who'll make my dream come true. And I wonder if, too, there... We only saw four silhouettes, but I wonder if Liboric has thought of a replacement for Elpathian as well. He's the one who'll make my dream come true. There's still a test left, but I'm sure I'll pass. Thank goodness, Lord Calavan. I was worried you might turn down my suggestion. But if you join the army, you won't be as free as you are now. You won't be able to come and go as you wish, and you'll have to wear a uniform. I wonder if everyone will be able to get used to this. I'm sure everyone will er everyone will be fine as long as you're around, sir. You gathered all of us er all of us yourself, after all. Your dream is to gather everyone under one great power to put an end to all the wars and division. Of course, not many of us understand that dream of yours, but everyone stayed by your side and is doing well, sir. Some fell for your power. Some fell for your personality or appearance, and others just liked you without any particular reason. You may be scary, but, amazingly enough, everyone here likes you, sir. I love this Kalavan story we're getting. If you suggest we join the army, we'll join the army. If you tell us to die, we'll die. And if you tell us to live, we'll live, sir. Just give us the order. We'll always be your faithful servants, Lord Kalavan. What a good panel. And this reminds me of another panel we've seen of Kalavan, but... Jeez, what a good panel. This battle is dedicated to the Army Corp. And he's going towards White. We see the cage and the ship now. Jeez, that was so good. That was so good. I love Kalavan's character. Okay. That was good. We got so much. I can't even, like summarize that quickly because we started off with white flexing his power against yolker but yolker's still fine and is going to be holding off people away from calavan i like that alpathian was involved in that uh flashback the flashback was really really good uh we have more development with white and him wanting to show bomb how it is you burn souls presumably so that he can later eat bomb soul god what a good chapter this arc is so good. I actually, I really like season three, but it seems like it's just been getting better and better. All right. I love that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read 480 right now. Uh, then I have just a ton of videos that I've recorded over this past week that I haven't got time to like edit, upload or anything. So I'm going to get to work on everything once I do that. Um, and then I'll record 481 once it's out. Again, either tomorrow night because I'm recording this Saturday or Monday morning. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Like if you did like the video, comment down there. Tell me what you thought of this chapter, or my thoughts and reaction to it. Um, subscribe for more Tower of God, much more on the channel. Like I said, going to be catching up to reviews as soon as physically possible. Um, uh, follow on Twitter if you want. If you want a link to the Discord server asking, I'll give you one. And if you want to help support the channel on Patreon, uh, it's patreon.com slash Haku of the Tubes, or a link will be in the description. That is it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.